Is it their mate up there? Look, them ones up there. God, he's climbing up. <laughs> hey, you don't. <laughs> good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. From Agadu. Agadu. Well, it's actually Agadu. <laughs> yeah. Agadu. What a strange name for a place, Agadu. Right, we've decided the parcel still isn't here. <laughs> no. It's getting annoying now. Where we've been parking for the last, I don't know, four, five, four or five out of the last four or five nights. Five nights we've parked there now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, there is actually some things worth looking at, so before we head off, mm -hmm. we're going to have a quick look at them. Um, and then what we've decided is if the parcel hasn't set off, because we'll get a notification, you see. If it hasn't set off by then, we're just going to go to Cork, aren't we, for now? Yeah, well, we're running low on gas, aren't we? We're low so. on gas, we've too much rubbish, we need to fill up with water, we need to empty water, we need to get some red tape for the brake light. There's a lot of things to do in Cork. Yeah. So, and it's, I think it's an hour and 15 minutes drive away. So we've decided we're just going to go to Cork after this. Uh -huh. And we'll come back for the parcel when they tell us it's finally here, which should be today or tomorrow. Yeah. So anyway, this is our view. Oh my god, guys, this is beautiful. It's not bad, is it? Look, yeah. at, the, look at these lovely, lovely hills and mountains. We're surrounded by them. You've got snow on the top of that one. It is beautiful and here look, I love it when they do this. One of these boards which tell you the name of every single peak. Parsons nose, some beauties here. Devil's ladder. Oh that's a good name. <laughs> Any other good ones? Um Library Point, Mouse Island. Oh Mouse Island, look it's a tiny little thing. Can we see that? I can see it just there. Let's go see this castle. There's actually a castle Yay! just over here. Possibly the smallest castle I've ever been to, Mazzy. Really? How about you? No, we've been to the smallest castle in the world. Oh, actually. we have, we oh. have, we have. <laughs> Park of Vanier. Park of Vanier Castle. It is very small, but you can actually go in it, Mazzy. I know, I'm so excited. Go on, you, you go for Shall it. I? This looks pretty cool, actually. Wasn't expecting to be able to get here. Because I thought it was on private land. There's some stairs! <laughs> stairs? Yeah. Let's have a look inside first. I like it, the fact that it's round. It's good, isn't it? It's fantastic, but... Not much of a castle. Is this all... Is this literally it? It's alright. Yeah, but was it wider? Is this just one part of a castle? I think this is actually it. It's a tiny little thing. It's <laughs> What's in there? Not a lot. Okay, there's no information bars or anything. We don't know anything about the place. Let's have a quick look upstairs then. Oh, I just want to say, look at the width of these walls. <laughs> well, that's normal for a castle, Mazzy. No, that just seems really big though, doesn't no, it? No, no, that's about... Nine foot wide. They're usually about ten foot. That's about average. That. Let's go upstairs, look. Yeah, go for it. You go for it. Oh yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is good, isn't it? <laughs> okay. I like it. You'd expect them to have some kind of rail in here. Yeah, it seems a bit dangerous. That's very it? dangerous. Very dangerous <laughs> indeed. <laughs> It's a good 15 foot drop here and there's no railing on it to stop you falling down. Anyway, there's nothing to see here. Come on, Mazzy. Let's move on. So we're not walking far now? From there? Oh, what are you doing? I found a dog lead. Perfectly good working dog lead. Oh, I can put you on a lead now. And keep oh, I was thinking exactly the same, but slightly opposite. No, you're Here, go on, the put one that, that on your chain. Put that under control. Put that on your chain. This is brilliant. What's this just doing? Hanging here. If <laughs> I had a dog, I'd have that. We we're just going to steal the dog lead, weren't we? <laughs> we decided. Just, just to have a joke and then put it back. Just for a joke for the camera, <laughs> but uh, the guy, there's a guy there who's taking drone footage with a dog, and I think it's his. Anyway, what we did find up there 
Yeah. Uh, really there was fine. actually an information board on the castle. Let me turn these off, yeah. So I'll quickly show you that if you're interested in reading about it. And now we've come up to, um, it's a graveyard. This is actually a cathedral up here, Mazzy. Agado Cathedral. Agado do, do, do. Do. <laughs> Cathedral. <laughs> cathedral. <laughs> it's a ruin just up here, so let's go through the graveyard and have a quick look. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, we're just in the graveyard, Mazzy, the first name we've come across here. See the top one there? James O'Shea. James O'Shea. Yeah. I'm only saying that because I know it really, really annoys someone because I'm saying it wrong. Anyway, let's move on. Do see a lot of these graves as well. Just little markers in the ground, just cast iron, circly things. There's a lot of them in this graveyard. Yeah, what is it? I don't know. If anyone can tell us what these are for, maybe it's something to do with the famine victims. Maybe, you don't know. Or well, people who just couldn't afford great headstones because they're quite expensive, aren't they? Yeah. No idea, but there's a lot of them. There's two there. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Got a star shaped one there, look. Star shaped one, yeah. Kindly kneel and pray. I do like that. That's to Jack Colotti. Bless him. Yeah. And this is a nice one. Yeah. Again, there's no name. Oh, there probably was no, a name was, on it. Yeah. That's weathered away, but a beautiful cast iron top. Welcome to Agado Cathedral. Or Ag Agadour, Ag Cathedral. It's the same door, kind of doorway like the last one we went into, do you remember? Vaguely, vaguely. I don't like this one. No, it's a bit eerie. I was just filming it. I wasn't thinking that. What were you thinking? You can't even walk around it. There's that many graves in here. Yeah. You can't even get between the graves to walk around it. Unless you walk on the... Well, I'm sure they wouldn't mind. I know people say don't walk on them, but I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Well, it's ridiculous. Why? I'm, so, I'm sorry, I know it's people are buried here. Why do they need all that room? Because there's probably five or six people in there, honey. I'll tell you what, guys, there really is some lovely ones here, isn't there, babe? I have never seen anything like this grave no. in my life. All I can imagine is this family actually work with marble. That's what I'm thinking. Maybe I they've... don't know. I've never... Look at them all. Look at all these amazing things. Now... Oh, it's so pretty. It's it? talking about two lads there. Someone who died as an infant and John and Bernie Mongan. It's yeah. from the Mongan family, I think. I do love this down here. I was going to pick it up for the camera, but I think that might be a bit disrespectful. You can't pick nothing up, honey. So, check this one out. I do like that. It says, Son, it broke our hearts to lose you, but you did not go alone, for part of us went with you the day God called you home. I think that is fantastic. And all these beautiful, beautiful uh, marble monuments. What a grave. What a family. Right, I've left Dan up there, but I was just, these caught my eye too. <laughs> oh my, wow, look at that. That's just, oh, it's so lovely. I don't particularly like showing modern graves out of respect, but you know, these are beautiful, aren't they? You're thinking these might belong to travellers. Yeah. You think yeah. travellers do really go to a lot of trouble go, when it comes they, to remembering yeah. the family? This is, honestly, the amount of money which has gone into this and thought. They've got like etchings, etchings of them on there. I like this while it says here, look. Here lies a legend. Yeah. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. And then next door you've got one pretty much as good. You've got a little caravan there which adds to the, are these travellers? Grandad it says there picture of grandad there and uh, a lady there absolutely fantastic we've seen a lot of good graves haven't we on this trip but yeah i think these are the best i've ever seen anywhere yeah and here you go look a horse and cart travelly kind of wow. you see this look so there he is on his horse and cart and they've put in there look a few playing cards a couple of coins and three darts 
There are either his belongings, probably his belongings, or showing what he liked in life. Check this one out, babe. A lot, an etching literally on the floor of the people that died. Yeah, the etchings, look. It's, that is like in marble. Yeah, in all the ones we've seen so far, this is like one, two, three, four, five, all in a row, which are the best we've seen so far. So I think these are from a traveller's family. I think they're traveller's. And there's two more really good looking ones down here. These might be the same, so we'll go have a look. I think these are, pe these are nuns. These are all yeah. nuns from the nunnery. This is Sister Margaret. She only died on the 26th of February this year. Oh, what's her second name? It just... Well, it doesn't, does <laughs> Sister Margaret. That's all oh, you yeah, need to know. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> but it's got all the... They're all on here, yeah. look. Yeah. But the good thing about every one of them... There must be 40, 50, 60 names there. Yeah. None of them were under 50 years old. They all had a good innings. Bless you, sisters. God rest, rest your souls. Wow. Stop fiddling with things. <laughs> they've got all the paddy stuff all over it. I've never seen anything like this. No. They've got a massive tankard. It's a hat. It's, it's a like tankard. A it's got a, oh, it's yeah. a tankard. Someone yeah. who likes to have a drink. A bottle of champagne on top. Oh, bless. This is beautiful. You've got sister... Mum, You've got the queen. our queen, world's greatest. You've got a little gypsy wagon up there again, so again they're probably travellers. Travellers. You've got Paddy O'Brien, Johnny O'Brien. It's the O'Brien family. That is amazing. That is really good. So this is what I thought was a shrine section. Yeah, we could see these from half of a <laughs> mile away <laughs> yeah. up there. And uh, again, now I'm guessing they're just huge graves, but wonderful they are, aren't they? Yeah. Look at this, it's got like two gates on it. Oh. Stay a while. Yeah, that's... A oh. lot of kids' toys oh, there. children in there then. Baby James. Oh. That's for coffees. This guy looks like you wouldn't mess with him. <laughs> yeah. Another you got a pack of cigarettes there, look. Another... Love you, Daddy. Marlborough ones. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and his phone. <laughs> Yeah, this is, uh, oh, and Bulma. He obviously yeah, likes cider, five ciders yeah. there. And they're oh, real wow. ciders. Look at this, babe. Oh, that's just amazing, isn't it? Now, the one back there with the flower tankard, they were O'Brien's, so maybe they are related to travellers. Yeah. So look at the next one. Oh, Dooley. Oh, Dooley. Obviously liked calculators. What's all that about? That's his phone. <laughs> it looks like a calculator. <laughs> yeah, look, you've got a 4x4 four four pulling a, a caravan. Yeah, there's a lot of... Oh, yeah! <laughs> Thomas O'Brien. Thomas Bryan. That's like a Range Rover, isn't it? And again, he's got his cigarettes. <laughs> and they flagged it all out for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah, these are clearly travellers ones. I, I do love this. Here lies in that legend again. Never expected this. I thought we were just going to have a quick look at the castle, quick yeah. look at the cathedral. Never thought we'd be spending ten minutes in a graveyard, Mazzy. I wouldn't mind. You didn't even want to come down to this no, end. No. I'm glad we have. We're not being disrespectful, guys. I think they'll want to see it. Yeah. The amount of money something like this must cost. Yeah. You know, to actually sit, go into somewhere and say, can you make... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. Fourteen personal marble statues to our to what we want on a massive marble background. Are you talking? Yeah, but when it's the travellers community, they all chip in. It's not all just down to the one fat one person. They all will chip in. Yeah, but, you know, why do only travellers do that? Why don't other people? Yeah. Look at the size of the rosary beads. We've seen some huge rosary beads, haven't we? Yes, yeah. They're so lovely. Let's go and see these ones up here. So this is the last grave we're going to show you. This is for the Dooleys. Again, incredible marble going on everywhere. And you've even got the holy water here, look. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Kindly kneel and pray. And they've got on there, look, there's a lady who's died, but they've left room for somebody underneath. 
and a few people on that side. So I'm guessing this is quite a new grave for that family. Yeah, it could be, yeah. But uh, yeah, that's the graves for you. We're going to leave that at that. Yeah. But really interesting. I've never seen anything like that before in my life. We've arrived! We have, and I think it's open, Mazzy. Oh, thank God! So hopefully, we'll have some gas in uh, 10 minutes. Woohoo! Hopefully. <laughs> some English gas. English gas. That's the beauty about this place. Now it says it's open, but I'll be honest. Oh, yeah, it is opened! <laughs> I got the camera out ready to film his disappointment, but yay! <laughs> So is this the bigger one? No, this is six. Woohoo! I'm so, happy you're happy. So we've literally just got a straight swap for another British one. Yeah. Um, 25 euros, so what's that, 23 quid? Yeah. It's cheap. Yeah. Um, and it'll, it'll probably be two weeks before he gets more stock. <gasps> really? But if that does run out, he did say he would swap our British one for an Irish one, whereas the other place wouldn't the other day. Oh, okay. So well, anyway. Yeah, so why don't we get a bigger one, sorry? You haven't got any. Oh, okay. <coughs> right, okay. <coughs> well, that's cool. So, yeah, we've got gas, so as long as we can empty his water and get water, you can have a shower tonight, darling. Woohoo! <laughs> Come on, next stop, Alfred's, I think. Try yeah. and get some red tape for the brake light. Just a sl slight scratch on brake light I need to sort out. Yay, we're at Halfords to get some red tape. And what else? Tell them, tell them. Some, some white tape. <laughs> yes. I don't know what he's done, guys. No, that was cracked anyway, but it has come off. It didn't, I didn't think it was going to come off, but it has. And now we've got a big gap and we need some white tape. And... We've got a big problem. That's, that's what we got. Is it shut? No, it's just got the signs all over it. <laughs> Did I hear you say, ooh? <laughs> Yay, we got all colours. I might as well break that one now, haven't I? Hold on, how does it work? I, th is it, I thought it was like see-through stuff. It is. Is it? I think. It doesn't quite look see-through. Yes. Oh, it's just reflective. It's like reflective see-through tape, I'm hoping. No, I think it's just reflective rather than the light bulb shining through it. No? Well, it will have to shine through it, otherwise it wouldn't work as a brake light. Okay. Yeah. It just doesn't look see-through, honey, does it? You just leave it to me. I know what oh I'm Oh, my doing. God. <laughs> okay. That's well above your head, isn't it? Well, we're all looking for a Fiat Ducato. <laughs> yeah. Ducato, Ducati, whatever, which is what our motorhome engine is. I don't is. know. Is it you sure it is? It is. Right, okay. <laughs> um, but I'm not sure if it's... I don't I don't even think this is it. This is Ducati. Isn't ours Ducato? Yeah, God. And this is for spark plugs. This is not... Oh my God, and I let you drive the motorhome? That's lens repair kit tape. What is it you've got? It's the same. Oh, what? But that's just a lot of white. Oh, I see. Well, ours ain't going to be wide enough then, is it? Well, that won't be wide enough. Mm. I'm wondering, we don't need much red, but we do need quite a bit of white looking at that. Maybe I should get that as well. So we're in PC world now. <laughs> Trying to sort your headphone problem out. That's yeah. what you need. Yeah. But you need a stupid Apple connector on there. Yeah, not the round headphones looking one. It needs to be square. We're going to struggle flat. to find Apple connectors in any shop apart from a yeah. proper mobile shop. We've never really found them yet, have we? No. Right, OK. <laughs> Feel sorry for that guy there, Mazzy. In his motorhome, he's broke down, I think. Right at the traffic lights. <laughs> right at the traffic lights. It's a very busy road. And we did notice the traffic lights seem to only be on green for two seconds. Yeah, that was peculiar. It's on oh, green again now, so let's green. see what happens. Yeah, let's see how long we got. Well, I wonder yeah. if we could help him. How can we help him? I think with know. my mechanical skills, really, come on. <laughs> if I thought I could for a second, I sure would. There's more chance of him helping you, isn't there? Yeah. <laughs> Another Tesco stop. Too thick. 
Ladies wiping all the trolleys. trolleys down. Yeah. Now this is a bigger store, guys. We're in Cook, literally city centre now. Let's see what they have. <laughs> right? What? <laughs> That'll do. I've got a card for my mother for Mother's Day. You've only picked up one and you're like, that'll do. I saw it from a distance. <laughs> In fact, I can't show you because my mum will be watching this video, but if you take a, just have a scan down. There you go, you've got all the pictures on there. See if my mum can guess which one I've got her, just from that. Because I saw it from right over there. <laughs> Come on. What are you fancying? Curry. Really? Curry mood. <laughs> the ring of curry. <laughs> the ring of curry. <laughs> Looks alright. So, you paying for that one. You get what for what you pay for. <laughs> I think that's what they say. I do like the look of that. Get it, I think honey. I'll get it for now. Yeah. Unless we see some, you know, there might be some like fresher made proper ones on the oh, deli. Oh, yeah, on the deli. Yeah. If not, that'll do nicely. Clearance section, we've got more, has it? Yeah, you said you liked the looks of this one, didn't well, you? Well, I like the name, Gunpowder, Gunpowder Potato or Cheeky Tika. Do you know what? They both look really they do. nice. And these are 350. Reduce the 350? Three, yeah. Three and 330. So you're going to get the two of them? So instead of that, yeah. you're going to get them for the same price, two. Yeah. And these look like expensive, really top healthy. quality ones. Yeah. Cheeky Tika and Gunpowder Potato Chana Masala. No idea what that is. I'm having it. <laughs> What's this pink thing here, darling, at the end? What is that? Fibre Fest. Gluten free that? beetroot wraps. Oh, I bet they're well nice. Oh, they're just wraps, are they? Oh, that's With rubbish. beetroot in it. I don't know. Put it back. <laughs> Have you seen it though, Mazza? Look yeah, at the flakes on top. Yeah, looks well good. To be fair, they're really well stocked up today, aren't they, in this bigger, bigger one? Yeah, we've got all sorts in here. Yeah. Really well stocked. <laughs> Red velvet layer cake. Oh, that's my daughter's Tara's favourite. She loves that. Yeah, yeah probably. All sorts, isn't it? What's the salted caramel? <laughs> oh, I don't know. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah, <laughs> put that in too. Right, that'll do. Come on. In the alcohol section, honey. Some of these shelves are looking quite empty. Have they? Yeah, don't panic. <laughs> Have you not seen it down the al alcohol bit? <laughs> oh my god. Don't panic. You don't panic. <laughs> of course I'm panicking. Oh no. There's a lot of this around, I've noticed in Ireland. Canadian beer. Now, I can't see Canadian beer being any good whatsoever. No offence, Canada. Oh, this one here, sorry. Yeah. 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 You've got Miller. Yeah. Does anyone drink Miller anymore? Don't know, never heard of it. I don't think it's drinkable anymore. It's draft anymore. beer there, isn't it? You've got, as usual, or your usual, one ninety nine a can, which I really regret. That's expensive. It's expensive. Yeah. It's only good which tastes like something comes out of donkeys, and I don't mean out of the bum. <laughs> Did I tell you, babe? My brother went to buy some alcohol yesterday. He went to go and get like a big crate like this. Mm -hmm. He was told to put them back. He's only allowed four cans. Four cans. Four cans. Okay. That might be the limit in here too. It might not be as well. Yeah, you'd be better off getting two of them. No, they are. They're the packs, darling. Two for eight. <laughs> God, he's climbing up. Hey, you done? <laughs> What did you just say? Look, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'm just, uh, I just said, because you said you're not feeling too good. I says I'm not either. I feel like I'm getting a bit of a cold. Yeah. But what I mean by that is, no, I'm not. My yeah. sinuses are fine, my throat's fine, everything's fine. But, you know, when in your head, you can feel something in right. But I think it's the driving. You've been having that heat on. I've had all my clothes on. So you're telling me you've got a temperature? Well, I'm warm. Oh my god, I that's got a the main symptom! I haven't got a temperature, I haven't got a temperature. Look, didn't burn, didn't burn. Not wrong with me. Just relax, <laughs> right, okay. calm down. Just got a couple of beer bottles to drop off while we're here. Mazzies. 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 Cheeky! Mazzies. 
masses. I had one on St. Patrick's Day. Okay, let's fast forward it. This is months work. Oh, there's not wrong with that one. Oh, we just found a fresh one. We've had these nearly two a month. Some of them. One of the boxes. Oh, nice one. One each. We got one each. Let's get out of here. This is embarrassing. <laughs> Thanks for watching! Please comment and hit the like button, that helps our channel grow. If you like what you see, click here to subscribe. Check out this other great video. And if you really want to show your support, join the club, become a Patreon for extra videos and perks. The more support we get, the more content we can give. We'll see you tomorrow on Travel, Travel Trolls, Trolls TV. TV.